Hello there, I am Tarina and today I'm going to show you my hair care routine to make my curls last for days and my hair grow longer. Let's start! My hair type is very thin, straight and healthy. It always shines, it's always soft and slippery. The problems that I've had is that it is extremely flat and I'm fine with flat hair on other people but with me my face is so round that the flatness of my hair doesn't complement my face shape. I want to have things that make my hair look more voluptuous, more round. The cats are having the hebus. Because of the healthiness and the slipperiness of my hair, I've always had trouble with long-lasting curls. They straighten up instantly, and then my hair looks all flat and lifeless. I hate it. So through the years, I've really tried to search methods to make my hair look the best that it can. On my journey, I have also found out other things about hair. So even if you don't have the same type of hair that I do, you might find other interesting tips in this video. <laughs> Lucifer, <laughs> look at this fluffy there. <laughs> Lucifer, have you been running with Luna? Are you excited? She's having a hair boost. Her heartbeat is crazy. Such hair boost. Okay, you can go. The products that I'm using are still things that I'm experimenting with. I don't yet know what are the perfect things to buy, but I do have some guidelines to what I'm looking for. Okay, so because my cats were having the hebbles, I now gave them some snackies. So you will hear them snacking. <laughs> Why are they so loud? Why didn't I put the snackies in some other room? Let's just go on. Let's go to the shampoo process. With shampoo, I want it to be deep cleaning to my scalp and also moisturizing. I always like to do a little double cleanse with my shampoo. Nothing special. I just like to put a little amount and rub it around my head just to take off some excess oils that I have, especially if I've not washed my head for like five days. And then when you do the second cleanse, you really feel how more easily it lathers on your head. And then I truly just massage it everywhere. I try to give my head some blood flow. I try to get rid of all the dirt and oil that has accumulated throughout the days. When I massage my scalp, I only do it the one direction. I don't do like circular motions. I do it one direction just so that I don't make tangles there. I never put it in the ends of my hair, only in the scalp. When you rinse your head, the shampoo will come here and wash it off. You don't have to rub it in here. Be very gentle with the ends of your hair. It can break so easily. Then it's time to do my conditioning. For my conditioner, I want something simple that doesn't weigh down my hair too much. Also, at this point, I like to use some sort of silver conditioner. I don't like silver shampoos because they are a bit drying. I oftentimes even mix my normal one and my silver one just to maintain the color. But it's really important to use something like that because otherwise I will have yellow hair very fast. <laughs> With the conditioner, I try to not get it on my scalp. I put it on top of my hair around here and I try to get it in here because these hairs are very weak. Everything that I do in the shower, I try to do very gently. When I put on my conditioner, I try to squeeze it in and not rub it in. When I rinse off my hair, I try to like just gently open up the hair because when your hair is wet, it is very weak. So after the shower, I always put on my bear cap. It is famous among my friends. They always make fun of me when I have it, but it's so convenient because I can just put in my hair there. It doesn't pull my hair or anything. It just rests behind my head and I don't get like wet shoulders. I love it. I would buy it a thousand times again. This love won't be easy. 
Now it's time to put on some hair serum. Because I have such dry scalp, I think that it's extremely necessary for me to put something moisturizing there. Maybe something that has some exfoliating ingredients. Actually, sometimes I put in the Ordinary Mandelic Acid Serum because that has some exfoliating ingredients. I don't know, I'm fascinated. It might be good for my hair. Not making any promises, I'm still trying it out. But if I put that in, I know that because it has some hyaluronic acid, which is like, um, it pulls in moisture. I have to put it in when my hair is still wet. It will take the moisture out of the wet hair and pull it inside my scalp. Because I'm taking care of my scalp health. I think it's helping my hair grow longer. Because that's where the hair comes from. If there is a lot of dead skin there, how can the hair penetrate and grow faster? Ooh! Before I shower, I always brush my hair. And I precisely got this brush that has these round tips, so I can gently exfoliate my scalp when I'm brushing it. I think it's important for you to try out your brushes like on your skin. If it leaves like these really sharp white marks on your skin, it's probably not good for your scalp. Get something that is gentle even on your hand. Always brush gently. Brushing is one of the biggest harms you have to do to your hair. So when you do it, do it extremely gently. Start from down here and slowly go up. Just be patient. At this point, it's time for me to share my favorite secret ingredient for my hair, salt spray. I found this specific one that is just perfect. It is a salt spray that has heat protectant and UV protectant. So when I put it on, it will protect my hair from the curling iron and also from the sun. And let me just tell you, sun is also one of the worst things for your hair. Get things that have UV protection on your hair and on your skin. The only problem with this salt spray is that it comes in such a small bottle. It is so tiny. Salt spray for me is so important because of the slippiness of my hair. It will give me some grip. It will make the curls last so much longer. I'm so happy that I truly found it. I put it on my hair. I let my hair dry before I curl my hair. I use a little bit of blow dryer to dry out my hair completely and also to intensify the effect of the salt spray. After that, I usually love doing loose curls on my first day. I love the look of loose curls, but the problem is that they don't last long. I usually do the loose curls only if I know that I am going to have a short day out. For example, going to a restaurant or shopping or just seeing a friend. But if I am planning on a whole night out, a long day, like shopping, restaurant and a club, I will probably do a tighter curl just because I know they will last longer and when they loosen up, they will become loose curls. I do my planning according to that. After I've curled my hair, I always put some amount of hairspray, but not like an extra amount that I used to when I was younger. Just a sufficient amount of hairspray. And then in the evening, before I go to bed, I always roll my hair around a rope. I do it because it's better for your hair to not be loose when you're sleeping. Because when your hair is all open, it will rub against everything. So it's better for your hair to be up in some way. Some people like loose braids. For me, I don't like them because I have such thin hair that the curls become so, so tiny. Some people like a high bun but i don't really like it because if i roll all my hairs to one direction one side of my curls will get ruined but the thing that i do do is that sometimes i do two tiny buns right over here so that they go the directions that my curls go but the best thing to do is the rope curls
The curls that you get from the rope are just gorgeous. And when I do them on the second day, my curls last for the rest of the week. Like I usually wash my hair every three or every five days. My curls will last till the last minute. Like I can still see curls in the ends of my hair and that has never happened to me before. So this is how I maintain my curls, make my hair look voluptuous and nice and lively. Also protecting it from the sun, only heating my hair once or twice a week and also looking fabulous throughout. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel to help me out on my YouTube journey, like this video to help me out on my YouTube journey, and comment anything down below. I would love to hear from you. The next video will be hopefully up on next Sunday or the Sunday after that. Here are some kisses and bye! Heippa! Moi moi moi! Hyvää päivän jatkoa!